Kelly Pride here. Today's video is going to be on Costco. We're going to talk three things. Number one, is there Costco coming to the villages? Number two, where is currently the closest Costco to the villages? And number three, I'm going to talk about Costco Business Center. Have you ever been to a Costco Business Center? Did you ever know one existed? Got one right here in Orlando, and I'm going to take you there and show you how it's different from the typical Costco warehouse that you shop in. When Jennifer and I lived east of Tampa, it was very convenient for us to go to Costco as the one in Brandon was only 15 minutes from the house. Now that we live in the villages, the closest Costco down I-75 is the one located in Wesley Chapel, which is a 56-mile drive from the Everglades Recreation Center as a point of reference. In the Orlando area, there are three Costco warehouses. The closest one to the villages would be at the Millennial Mall area, which is 49 miles from the Everglades Recreation Center. We like to go to this one because it also provides easy access to the Costco Business Center, which I'll be discussing in a minute. So what are Costco's plans of bringing a warehouse to the vicinity of the villages? Well, according to their website, there is no plans, and they will state that if it's not on their website, then any rumors are not official. However, there has been recent reporting, especially out of the Orlando Business Journal, that Costco is looking at properties along Highway 50 in the city of Claremont. So if this were to come to fruition in the next couple of years, that would be the closest Costco to the villages. And that would probably be about a 35 mile drive. So until and if that happens, your two viable in-shopping options still remains Wesley Chapel in Orlando. Moving on to discuss what is a Costco Business Center? Well, there are 20 Costco Business Centers located in the United States. One of them is in Orlando. The next closest one is in the area of Atlanta. And beyond that, the closest is Dallas and Chicago. So there isn't a whole lot of these Costco Business Centers. And what makes them different from your typical Costco wholesale store? First and foremost, Costco business centers caters to small businesses, so we're talking restaurants, food trucks, convenience stores, vending machine operators, and that becomes apparent as you look around the store and see what the items they have to offer. Um, according to several websites I looked at, 70% of the items in the store or the business center are unique that you will not find in the typical Costco warehouse. Expanded hours, they actually start uh, open in the morning at 7 o'clock. However, they are closed on Sundays. Uh, Jennifer and I have been to the Costco Business Center in Orlando, I believe, three times now. And I can tell you we have never encountered any crowds, lines, or problems parking. Uh, typically, while we're in the store, it seems like there's more employees working than there is customers. I think a lot of this has to do with a lot of the businesses have their uh, items uh, delivered uh, to them. Uh, you'll see uh, Costco employees going around the stores with their carts and big cardboard boxes loading up, and I'm sure those are uh, delivered to their uh, business customers. You do not need a special membership to enter. Uh, your regular membership Costco card uh, will get you in the door. Uh, the one of the big differences between the business centers and the wholesale warehouses are is uh, there is no pharmacy, uh, tires, uh, uh, optical, liquor, clothes, uh, photo services. Also, there is no prepared meals, so you wouldn't be able to get your Costco rotisserie chicken uh, at the business center. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take you uh, inside and uh, show you some of the items they have and some of the deals that we got. Costco Business Center is located at 2101 Waterbridge Boulevard. And as we enter the parking lot here of the Business Center, you'll notice that the shape of the building looks just like a wholesale store. And the fact is, this used to be a wholesale store, and they, Costco remodeled it from uh, a wholesale store into a business center. Costco did retain their gasoline pumps that were here from the wholesale store, so the discounted uh, Costco gas is available at this business center. We were arriving about 9 in the morning, so the store has been open for about two hours. Uh, and as we enter the store here, you can see the expanded hours displayed. 
As you enter this store, it becomes apparent the catering to the restaurant business. As you see, the very large cooking vessels, along with utensils, and very large refrigerators and freezers, along with neon lights that uh, businesses would display on the outside of the building. In the center of the store, there is just a massive stockpile of different drinks and snacks that would cater to convenience stores and vending machine operators. So in the massive drink section of the Costco Business Center, we were able to find these by Super Tea's antioxidant infused 15 pack. Uh, this is not something that we found in Costco wholesale stores. So uh, good find at five to 10 calories per bottle. It's uh, pretty healthy for us. If you like sweet beverages from south of the border of the Caribbean, there's a large selection at the business center. Haritos from Mexico, 66 cents a bottle. That's a lot cheaper than in the Publix, which is 119 a bottle. A uh, large variety in this center. Also, Malta India, which is popular in the Caribbean, especially in Puerto Rico. They have it there. And if you Coca-Cola products which in the United States is made out of high fructose corn syrup. If you want the in full infusion Coke, and they have that there at the business center from Mexico, and it's made out of pure cane sugar. Moving on to my favorite beverage, coffee. I utilize the Keurig system, so getting K-cups at a good price is important to me. That's why I typically shop for my coffee at Costco. At the Costco warehouses, you normally have about five to six different flavors to choose from. Here at the business center, I think I counted a total of 15 different varieties uh, that they had in stock at that time that we went. Besides the warehouse and the business center for looking for coffee, you might also want to check Costco online. I was able to find 100 K-cups of uh, Tim Hortons. Uh, became familiar with Tim Hortons when I visited Niagara Falls and right after that uh, I had to go to Dubai for work and I actually found it was a Tim Hortons uh, in Dubai so that was my second cup of Tim Hortons but I really like uh, really like the brand and Tim Hortons I believe is just second to Starbucks in the amount of coffee served around the world so uh, I got this online Costco for $31.99 delivered here to my house in the villages. So that comes out to be 32 cents a K cup, which is very reasonable. So check that out. Moving on to the business center's inventory of bottled water. They have pallets of bottled water from all parts of the world to include Italy and from Mexico. They have several varieties of the Voss water, which comes from Norway and the, of course the Perrier from France. They even have uh, water that comes from across the Pacific from the island of Fiji. Uh, that's relatively expensive. Uh, if I buy a bottle of water it's more from a local source and that's from down the road from Zephyr Hills. Equal to the drinks there is just a huge selection of snacks available. So in the massive snack section, and we try to stay healthy, um, we got this uh, variety snack pack of Skinny Pop. Um, comes in three flavors, kettle, regular, and white cheddar. You can get the regular flavor in most stores as well as the Costco wholesale store, but uh, the variety pack, this is, uh, the business center was the only place that we were able to find it. So. Uh, it was a really good price, and uh, the variety was something different, so we picked one up. Being stationed in Alabama and Georgia for a total of five years, I never developed a taste for boiled peanuts, but if you're a boiled peanut fan, then you have a very large selection at this Costco business center. If you shopped at a Costco wholesale store, then you know that they have the cold rooms. Well. This is the biggest cold room that I have ever seen, including produce, meats, cheeses, and there's just a humongous selection in here. From the large cold storage area, which had a whole lot of produce, um, 
large quantities of produce. Uh, we did pick up these uh, organic cut peeled baby carrots. Um, they come in two pound packages. We got two packages in the bundle for $4.99. So $4.99 for four pounds of cut carrots. That's a pretty good deal. And uh, we are eating off of one of them and the other one we put in the freezer and I'll use that in my instant pot when I make my stews and pot roasts and things of that nature. If you're a cheese lover, then you have a whole lot of options in this business center. Everything from bag cheese to hunk cheese. And if you're hosting Italian dinner night with 200 friends, how about impressing them with a 22 pound wheel of this Parmesan cheese? They also have a very unique selection of meats to include this ham from Spain, this cured Mediterranean sea salt. In my travels in the Middle East, I, with my military duties, I ate a lot of lamb and goat. And here at this Costco Business Center, they have whole carcasses of both, as well as your turkeys and your ducks uh, for your family feasts. These single servings of Bibigo sticky rice is something Jennifer and I enjoy with our Asian dishes. And the Costco Business Center is the only place that we can find these. They do not have these in the Costco wholesale warehouses that we go to. We like to end our videos on a sweet note, so here it is. How about a 6.6 .6 pound tub of Nutella chocolate hazelnut spread? I would only suggest that if you do buy this and enjoy it, please see our other videos on hiking and biking and the fitness centers here in the villages. That's all for now. See you on the next video.